Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about getting a starting point for leveling your patches, that is getting them all to sound the same volume. Now the very best way to actually get things to be at the correct volume is to play in your final situation. So if you're intending to play along with jam tracks, you have to play along with jam tracks and adjust the volume. If you play along with a band, you have to be playing along with your band and adjust the volume of each patch. So what I want to show you today though is just a quick way to get all your patches in the same ballpark of volume so that then when you get into that situation and nothing is super far out of whack and you're close to the right starting point. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is set up my Helix so that I don't hear double through my DAW when I'm playing. So I'm going to go to the hamburger menu here. We're going to go to global settings right here. And on the very first page that comes up on in outs here, on the far right hand side, you see this says USB 1, 2, trim. So I'm going to turn that all the way down. All right, so I got it on negative 60 dB. It's all the way at the bottom. So that's going to mute the signal coming back from my computer so I don't hear a double echo. Now we are switched over to my DAW. I'm using Reaper, but of course you can use any DAW of your choice, but your steps will be a little bit different. So first thing I'm going to do here is make sure that I am using the Helix as my sound card. And that is done right there. Okay. And I'm going to add a new track. And I am going to set the input of that track to the Helix inputs one and two. I'm going to enable recording. I'm going to turn on the soft monitoring. Now I do have, as you saw, the Helix USB output set to silent. So you won't hear anything coming from the DAW, but it's important to have that turned on. I'm going to add a plugin here. And the plugin that I want to add is called the M Loudness Analyzer from Melda Production. It's a free plugin. So I'll double click that guy, we'll get it added, and here is the plugin as it comes up. So you see there's a little scrolling meter here, usually I like to hit minus a couple of times just to get that speed to slow down so I can see more of it. I'm going to look at the settings of it here, and I like to turn off the waveform, you can leave it on. I like to have this green line for momentary, the red line for short term, and the true peak turned on. So I'll close that setup and we will be ready to go here. So now I'm going to make some noise with my Helix. You see it makes the meters go kind of crazy over here. You see Helix went crazy. So I'm going to turn down the volume on the Helix a little bit so you can still hear me talking. Check that out. All right. So now what you're going to see here on the meters is the green line, the red line, and the white peaks. So what I like to do with my helix is adjust it so that the green and the red line are at or below six loudness units here, and the white line is peaking around zero loudness units. So usually they're pretty close, but the, the white line I never want to reach six loudness units, and the green line, I never let it be as quiet as zero loudness units. So I sort of try and keep the white, the peaks of the white and the green and the red line to be within this range from zero loudness units to six loudness units here. So that's where you can see I am at. So I would call that pretty good. Now there's a lot of different ways you can adjust the volume in your Helix. You can use the main output volume on the output blocks. You can use the amp channel volume. You can put a gain block in there. So I don't really want to get into all those different ways you can adjust the volume, but that's where I like to set it. Now if I switch over to a different preset here, let's check out the Crazy Train preset. We should see that it's in about the same place.
So you saw that the white line came in a little bit above the zero and the green and red were above zero but below six. So generally I just go through my patches and kind of get them all in that ballpark. And that's just a starting point. Of course, when I get out there with a band or I play along with a backing track, sometimes things need a little bit more adjustment than that. Now that we are done, we need to put our USB monitoring level back to its normal level. So let's go back to the hamburger menu here, over to global settings again. Now, I don't have to turn this knob all the way back up to zero. I could just push it straight down, and you see it'll jump to its default value, which is zero. Hit the home key over here, and we're back to our home screen, and we are ready to go. So I hope you all have enjoyed my tips on getting a starting point for equal volume across your presets. Make sure, remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Facebook page for my musical activities, and come on over to the Line 6 Helix user group original on Facebook, where there's thousands of members who have been through every imaginable situation, and there's always someone there that can help you out pretty quickly.